Hello everyone, today I will be showing you a live demonstration of running a PlayStation Game 2 game on PCSX2 emulator, but before going to the emulator itself. First you have to install the virtual controller on your PC, which will allow you to use your mouse and keyboard while playing the game instead of using a PlayStation controller. Open up your virtual controller and do exactly everything I am doing. First we will do the configuration of the keyboard watch carefully. Secondly we will set up the mouse and set its sensitivity. And then we will have to add the pre-configured key bindings file called RDR binding which is provided the files. But remember to replace your specific mouse because the software has picked the wrong mouse from the RDR binding file. Once the virtual controller is all set and ready, we can move on to the PCSX2 emulator. These are the files that you will get when you download the game from Nexus Games. The installation is quite easy. So just run the PCSX2.exe file and follow the steps one by one carefully. The BIOS section will be empty for you too, so you just have to browse the BIOS from the folder, and then select any one of the BIOS and click Finish. There you go the emulator is all set and ready. Now I will be running one of the famous PlayStation 2 game on the emulator. All you have to do for that is to click system in the top left corner, and then click boot ISO fast. And then just browse your game ISO file and click open that's it you successfully managed to run a PlayStation 2 game on your PC. Enjoy a bit of the gameplay of the game. After the end of World War II,
the world was split into two, east and west. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory. You can get the complete game and pre-configured PCSX2 directly from our main site Nexus Games.